Welcome to the demo of the new functionality of the weekly roster. Now, if you want a full uh, demo, uh, I'll give you a link in the description so you can have a look at uh, the full functionality of this roster. But as it has been quite popular and I've made a few changes, I thought it'd be worthwhile to just do a quick demo of all the new functionalities. So let's uh, walk uh, through them one by one. So in a, I usually have an instruction tab in my uh, template. And here the, there's a, a version number and most of the time it makes sense, not always, but most of the time. So in this case, we'll, we'll see it together if it does make sense or not. So the first change, the version 1.1, uh, it allows for shifts to end the next day. So how does that work? So the shifts, you, you declare them here. And here, for instance, I've just set up one. Uh, you, if you have a, a shift that finished at 10.30 p.m., and it ends at 1 a.m., so it counts as a shift. And, and, and before, you couldn't do this. Uh, before, it had to be during the same day. And here, uh, you have the length. And then, you, when you go on a daily view, for instance, here, I have a bit of a warning that the shifts ending the next day will only show until midnight. As you can see here, it only shows until midnight. Uh, so, and from the weekly view, it shows here as well. So this is a first change. Uh, I think someone asked for it. That's where I've, I've added it. Now, the second uh, change that uh, happened is that uh, the change of military <laughs> time that I didn't know it was called military time is between 0, 01 and 23 uh, instead of AM, PM. So I can uh, now change this. So you, you can change this. Uh, if you go under the employees, I think under the employees, this is where I have the most of the settings. And here you can select, I've simplified 24 hours or 12 hours. Like for instance, if I leave 24 hours, you can see the shifts are 22 to 1. And if I change that for 12 hours, the shifts are now showing 10, uh, 30 p.m. instead of 22. And it's uh, all the way, reflected all the way. If it's not, that means, <laughs> means there's a problem in the template, but it should be there all along. Uh, let's have a look. Yes, yeah, so it's there all along. Next change. The next change is, uh, and I'm going to put those two together, added the printing tab and an additional report. So uh, I've added a lot of reports there. Uh, the first one is, uh, so th this were the existing one, the, the daily view and the weekly view. So I've, I've added three tabs of reports. The first one is the employee report. So you have all the employees uh, here uh, with all the details, date, shift number, uh, the shift description, the shift hours, and then send, that gives you totals uh, per employee here. You have all the employee detail. And then you have a shift report here, a shift report that uh, tells you for each, uh, each day uh, what are the shifts, 23, 24, 25, so under for each, each day, the shift description here, shift number. Uh, the roster report um, uh, that uh, you have a selection between employee or all employees. So if I put full employee here, uh, actually this is uh, all employee, it shows all the employees, and then you have the choice. If you put no, uh, that would take this uh, employee instead here. You can select employee by employee here. So this is another functionality that I've added. If we go back on instructions, uh, multi-currencies. So I, I only had dollar values, and now uh, you can add several ones. So I just it's on demand, but it's quite time consuming actually to add them. I can show you how to add them if you want to change it yourself. So here I have dollar, euro, pound, rupee, and MIR, which is RM. Uh, so I had those three initially, and after I've been requested to add those two. So now if I put, uh, let's say, uh, euro, you can see the euro change here, and it should change everywhere. So if you want to do it yourself, it's a, it's a bit tedious. Uh, uh, you need to uh, go to the conditional formatting, manage rules, and unfortunately, uh, you have to put these four conditions every time. So once you've done it once, you just can uh, have to copy the formatting. This is what I'm recommending, but it's a little bit tedious. So please don't ask for more currencies. 
instructions, instructions, or oh, time format. Uh, well, yeah, I'm not sure what uh, what it is. To be honest, I must have changed the the time format on this uh, to allow for uh, the, the different times. Uh, so let's go back here. I've added ARM, so that's a new currency uh, that I've added. And uh, longer breaks allowed. So that's that's someone uh, asked me for that one. Uh, shifts. I used to have only, uh, I think, two hours max or three hours max. And now you can have a break of 10 hours. So that uh, actually allows you to uh, do two shifts, I uh, suppose, in the same day. You could have uh, uh, 10 30 to 1 and after uh, 2 to two, 5 on the same day. Um, but uh, this doesn't work very well if you have a uh, two shifts on the same day. You need to create, duplicate two employees here because obviously you can only put one shift per day. So someone asked me that. Uh, so you need to, to, let's say employee two has two shifts on Monday, you will need to recreate employee two here and they put the second shift. Uh, let's assume it's barista and here you will need to put the second shift. So this is how you would do it. But now you can have uh, longer breaks if you want. Okay, so that was a quick overview of all the new versions. Uh, link in the description if you're interested in this roster. And I'll catch you uh, next time, uh, maybe for some new functionalities.